Welcome back, this is Yamajack, and today we're going to do some more Hell on Earth, uh, but we are going to go for... What are we going to do? Let's do, um, where is it? The Steam Fortress. I like Steam Fortress. Move my microphone up a bit. I'm like leaning down to be able to be in line with my microphone, and it's just, uh, it's bad posture. You don't want that. You want to be able to sit upright and straight? Just had ramen for lunch. Some instant ramen. I love instant ramen. I love, like, not instant ramen too, but just by the nature of it not being instant, it takes a lot longer to make. And uh, usually when I make instant ramen, I like to add um, a little bit of soy sauce. Just to get it a little bit more... Oh my god. <laughs> wow. We got surrounded there real quick. Anyway, when I, like, when I make instant ramen, I like to make uh, it with a little bit of soy sauce and some hot sauce added. And... Um, Then put like toppings and whatever on it. Make it like uh, some nice, tasty thing. But uh, you still end up with that like baseline instant ramen packets flavoring stuff, right? So it's always this this like gap between um, you know it's, it's instant ramen or is it uh, or is it not instant ramen? And you're like, it's instant ramen, but for some reason, this person put a lot more time into making instant ramen. I don't know, I think it's uh, a little bit funny to me, I guess, to, to be putting... Because I, I put, like, I'll make instant ramen, right? And I'll spend a good 40 minutes, like, cooking up some instant ramen. I'm like, it's not really instant anymore. <laughs> Today, I didn't have to do that, though. I just, uh... I just made it, tossed in some soy sauce and uh, hot sauce and a little bit of uh, chopped up some green onions. I feel like sometimes I'll put like a, a soft boiled egg in there, um, add some flavorings into the actual like broth, you know, and it ends up being like this whole process. The other lunch that I make often, like that's, that's one of my lunches that I make often, the other one is uh, fried rice. I love fried rice. If I, had to, if I had to pick, you know, one food that I'm going to eat for the rest of my life, I think fried rice would would be would be my my, my, my food of choice. Because it's so versatile, you know? You've always got that, that underlying flavor of, like, soy sauce and, and sesame with, uh, with the fried rice. At least the way I make it, which is rice fried in sesame oil and soy sauce, basically. <laughs> Um, but you can add so many different things to it, you know? It's always gonna, ha like, it's always gonna have that flavor of, of the soy sauce and the, the sesame. But, you know, you don't have to focus on it too much. And I don't mind it. I like it. So, who cares? You know? That was a hit. That was a hit. Don't even. Really, you guys can spawn up there in that much? I don't like that you guys can spawn up there that, uh, that rapidly. I don't really appreciate it, you know? Where's this flesh pound or quarter pound thing coming from? Scares me not being able to see it. There he is. Now we got him. Oh. Getting a little bit overwhelmed there. Hmm. 
Green onions, I think, are probably my favorite. Like, I don't know what kind of like food group would that be, even. You know? Cause like, no, no. What kind of food group is uh, green onion in? Because I use it almost as like a spice or a seasoning or, or something like that, right? But I don't, like, it's not technically actually a spice, you know? Uh, yeah. Technically, it's it's not a spice, right? But I, I use it in the same way to, like, put some green onion-y flavor into something. So, kind of a spice, but I don't know. I know that... It's like an onion, garlic, or whatever. Garlic's an onion, right? Isn't it? I think it is. I don't know. I don't know if there's like a specific type of like, you know, thing for what you would call. Look, we just have to kill you. Because I can't have you being alive, okay? I don't know if there's a specific type of group for, um,. For onions and uh, like, what else would kind of fit into that category? I'm, I'm thinking like onions, garlic, shallots, but these are all the same thing. Is there anything else that isn't an onion that would fit into the same category of, of usefulness? That isn't just a straight up seasoning? I don't think there really is. Yeah, I don't think there is. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm really thinking about it. I don't know, maybe... Uh, no, it's all, it's all either herbs or um, spices and stuff. It's really a, a thing that's unique to onion. For me, anyway, for the for the way that I use it. So I guess maybe there there wouldn't need to be something, and you just call it onions, because that's kind of that that's what they are. They are unique in their usage. I don't know, like you like I something you, you know you use peppers or maybe celery, I guess, can be used similarly, you know. But I don't know if that's really being totally fair to the uh, to the onions, calling them similar to celery. Because I wouldn't like take celery and just eat. I, I wouldn't just take. Okay, most people wouldn't just eat like raw onion. I totally would. If you have like a plate of raw onions, I might munch on them. <laughs> I really like onions. Okay. <laughs> But, you know, most people aren't going to munch on raw onions like they would, like, you know, raw salt. You're not going to take, you know, an onion stalk and rub peanut butter on it and then just munch on that as a snack, right? That's not going to be what you do. But maybe in cooking it would be used in the same way as an onion to just impart some of those, like, earthy flavors onto something, maybe. Like, it's like, it's like a stock veggie onion, almost, you know? It does what stock does. Where? We're not doing so bad this time. This one's going pretty well, honestly. We might just get absolutely annihilated right around now, though. You know, now that I've jinxed it. I don't care. About hitting you in the face. I just want you to hit you. That's not what I wanted to throw. I wanted to throw a grenade. Why do I always reload when I really don't need to be reloading? You know? Like right now, I want to reload because I can reload quickly. I can get that reload cancel. 
Whereas right now I can't get it, so I don't want to reload. You only reload when you when you're reloading canceling. You know, you don't reload when you just reloading. Okay, you have to go. So do you. Right, I'm out. That was okay. Bit of a uh, tricky situation to be put in there like that, but ultimately, worked out fine. Don't even try it, bud. Where are you? I hear a Scrake as well. Yeah, right there. Scrake's no problem, though. I don't mind a Scrake. It's really the, uh, the Flesh Pounds that uh, concern me. And they don't really concern me too much anyway. But, you know, you, you get like 18 Scrakes on you. That's one thing, you know? It's... it's, it's fine. You take them out one at a time. No problem. You get 18 flesh pounds on you? Cool. Good luck. That is many, many flesh pounds charging you at once. Because, you know, Scrakes don't get enraged until they're damaged. They're very reasonable people. Whereas flesh pounds are very unreasonable people. I'm still mad that I have to re-record all these episodes. Come on. Hoping that the, the Linux thing helps. Really, really hoping. I know we're 2,000 meters away, but it's fine, bruh. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Goodness, you get launched. <laughs> my, oh my. Hello? Can I get the reload cancel? There we go. That's how it's supposed to go. Take that, King Flesh Pound. Oh, look at that damage that we got right after the start. That's sick. I love it. My head tracing on him could be a little bit better, I suppose. But it's fine. I know I've uh, I did um in some of the lost episodes I did do some hell on earth. I don't know. Oh no. If uh, if it ended up going up, so this might be the first uh, win on hell on earth that we get on Gunslinger since we've. Uh, this week, anyway. I know that we did. The first run that we did as Gunslinger, I think, was actually on Hell on Earth, and we won. At level 16 or whatever. I believe, right? Oh no, what am I stuck on? What are you, what are, hello? What was going on there? Hello? I'm above you. I didn't know you could shoot up like that. I had no idea he could do that. That's actually kind of cool. But also annoying. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Alright. Can I throw my money? Oh, I don't have my IQ open because I had to restart my computer. I can't spam money everywhere. No. I'll have to get that on for the next uh, episode. 
Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.